Okay, you wanna know how to find your way around Show It so that you can customize your website quicker and get that website launched like yesterday. Allow me to show you around. If you're new here, I am a Show It website designer and I'm committed to helping you improve your presence online. I'm going to tell you exactly how to navigate your way around Show It website builder so that you can start customizing your website template today. Now this is what the back end of your website looks like. What you see now is both the mobile and desktop views. While your website is responsive, meaning that it adjusts to whatever size device that you're on, you will design the website still in both the desktop and the mobile views, and then it will adjust accordingly depending on the size of the browser. You can either work in both the both mobile and desktop versions at the same time, or you can work on just the desktop version by itself or just the mobile version by itself by clicking these buttons down below. If you make a change to one of them, make sure that you do double check that it looks good still on the other version because sometimes when you're editing some minor details, things can start to look a little bit funky because they don't only change on the one version. So just if you make a change on the desktop version, just make sure you double check it on the mobile and vice versa. On Show It, everything is drag and drop. That means you can move anything around exactly the way you want it and it'll show up that way in your browser. So there's no coding at all making it super easy. The way each page is broken down is by little blocks. These separate the different talking points, if you will, on each page. For example, this template has a welcome section, section to introduce themselves, one to share about their work, another to share their credentials, a section to send them to their information page, and so on. These blocks of content are called canvases. And this is a really important word that you're gonna wanna remember while customizing your website because it's gonna show up quite a bit. On the left side of the screen, we have the site and page tabs. This is where you'll go when you wanna find a certain area of your website to work on. Under the site tab, you'll see all of your website pages listed. Home, about, info, work, contacts, and so on. So whatever pages that your website was made with. To make a change to a certain page, all you need to do is click the name of that page to begin editing. You'll see your workspace appear with the content on that page of your website. As you scroll through the page, again, you'll see the different blocks or canvases. Select the canvas that you wanna edit by clicking anywhere within that highlighted block. So remember, you do have to be clicked into that canvas to edit it. Now let's talk quick about the page tab. When you click the page tab on the top left, you'll see a listing of labels. This list represents all of the canvases on that page. When you have one of them selected, you'll see a drop down up here of every single element on that canvas or block. Each element should be labeled in a way that shows you exactly what that element refers to. Having this listing comes in really handy when you wanna move something forward or backward on the canvas, such as like when you're in PowerPoint, you can hit arrange and then send to back or send to the front, something like that. On Show It, it just works a little bit differently. Instead, the elements are arranged in the design in the same order that they are listed on the left side of the screen under the page tab. So you notice this photo is at the bottom of the list because one, it's the last thing that appears on the canvas from left to right, top down, kind of the way that we read, but also because it's beneath all of the other objects. If we move it up to the top, you now see that it covers the About Us button. Now in this case, we don't want to lose that button, so we'll move it back down to the bottom, but that just shows how we can rearrange the ordering as needed by using the panel on the left. Now, as you scroll through the page, you'll notice that some of the canvases have like diagonal lines through them. This is because it's a little bit different type of a canvas. These are called site canvases. Basically, all that means is it's a page that stays the same through every page of your website. So as you can imagine, the site canvas often just is used for like the footer section, the header section, maybe the contact form if it's used on multiple pages of your website. But they can also be used on other canvases as well, as long as that canvas is shown on different pages of your website. So in this case, for example, maybe you swap out the testimonial for maybe an even better one that your client just sent you. Since it's a site canvas, you will only have to make that change once because then it'll populate to every page that that site canvas is on. So that makes it really nice because you don't have to remember to change it on every single page of your website. You only have to change it once, making it super handy. If we click back over to the site tab and then scroll all the way down, you'll see all of your site canvases listed there at the bottom. 
And then you can also just click there on the name of the site canvas to go into that canvas to start editing it. Now let's talk about how to actually make a change to an element on your website. This is all done on the editing panel on the right side of your screen. You'll notice that with whatever element that you're clicked on, the editing panel on the right side adjusts accordingly um, to allow you to make changes to that specific element. So like when we click on an image, for example, you'll see the options change to apply for an image. Um, just like as we click on a text box, you'll see that we now have options to change the text styling, such as like the font, the size, and so on. But just like you can edit elements on your canvas, you can also add elements to the canvas if they don't already exist on the template that you're working with. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find all the different options you have to add to your canvas. First, to add a text box, click this button here and you'll see all of the preset style options appear. These are formatted to make it very easy for your text to look super consistent with the rest of your website without having to make many styling changes on your own each time that you add a text box. Just choose the one that you want, such as maybe a header, and you'll notice that the text box appears in the style that is set up for that heading. I explain all about how to do this in the video that's shown up at the top of your screen. Now you can also add things like shapes, icons, a piece of code, videos, and so on. These can all be added from the middle bottom of your screen and then edit it accordingly using the editing panel on the right side of your website builder. Then moving along to the next option, you can also add photos, of course, and you can do that by opening your media library and selecting the photo that you want to add to that page. Also at the bottom of your website builder, you have a few other options. Again, you have the option to switch between your desktop workspace, mobile or both right here, and you can zoom in and out of the workspace with these buttons here. To reset that zoom, just hit the magnifying glass that has the X inside of it. This reset zoom button will actually pull the zoom back to the way that it's gonna appear most like in your browser. Sometimes when you have it zoomed out really far like this, it looks a little bit funky because you're trying to squeeze it all into your workspace when in reality, it's really never gonna look that squished. So again, reset that zoom to make it appear like it most will in your website browser. Moving along the bottom of the screen to the right side, you'll see your undo and redo buttons here if you make a mistake. Then if you ever have questions while customizing your website, show us support is really helpful and can definitely help answer your questions for you. They even have a chat box within your workspace to make it super easy to ask a question and get assistance. All you need to do is click the question bubble to open a conversation, or you can view help documents as well. Show it does an awesome job about making their help documents really user friendly and easy to understand, which is another reason why I love working with Show It. You can also always reach out to me if you have questions or leave a comment down below if you have questions about not only navigating your website, but how to make certain changes or anything else that you might be struggling with. Something else you might run into when editing your te website template are Canvas views. Now, when you're on someone's contact page and you go to submit that contact form, a lot of times there's a thank you screen that shows up just saying, you know, thank you for your message. I received it. I'll get back to you shortly. This is an example of how a Canvas view might be used. So now we have Canvas, we have a can site Canvas, and now we have Canvas views. Basically, a Canvas view is just an alternative view for a single Canvas. On the left, under the page tab, when we're clicked into this specific Canvas, you'll see that we've got different folders or Canvas views within this Canvas. Then as we click on each one, you see that the design changes in the Canvas itself. So if you ever need to make a change and you're not able to find it within your website builder, maybe search for one of those little folders. It might be a case that you have a canvas view that you're not seeing right away, but you just have to click into it in order to see the content and edit it. Now, after making all of your changes to your website, it's really helpful to be able to preview those changes before they go live. You can preview your website by clicking the button at the very top right. You'll see it appear in this preview window where you can view it in both the desktop and the mobile version separately. You can also hit the blue link up top to view it in an actual browser window. And if you want to view it on your phone as well, just copy and paste that URL into your phone. You'll be able to see it even though it's not quite live yet. Back in the workspace, when you're ready to make your changes go live, you'll want to hit publish and follow the prompts in order to officially make those updates to your live website. Now the next step you want to do when you actually start customizing your website 
is adding all of your website's copy or your words into the template placeholders that are there. Hit that video on your screen right now to learn exactly how to add all of that copy in and make it look the way that you want it. Bye for now.